Okay, we are live. Hello, it's Rico Cavalia, your healthy aging trainer and creator of the Ageless Living Lifestyle. And this video training is entitled The Seven C's for Maximum Happiness, Success, and Leadership. And why this is so important, especially why it's so important to your uh, success in your Ageless Living Lifestyle system is, if you're not happy, and you're not feeling successful, then you're definitely not going to be able to be uh, as energized and inspired to stick with your program and, and be as successful as you want to be. And also, uh, it's also happiness, being happy and being successful is part of our overall wellness program. You know, you can't be, again, you can't be really well if you're not happy and you're not feeling like you're successful in your life. But we're going to talk about those and I think you'll see how easy it is to be happy and successful. And then, and of course, that's really the bottom line for all of us, isn't it? What's the most thing we really want to be? I think if you ask most everybody, it's to be happy, right? And we want to be successful in every aspect of our lives. So that's why this is so important. This is actually one of my most popular presentations that I give. Uh, people really like this and it's really fun to present. And then, so I hope you'll, you'll stick with us and really enjoy this and get some really good information and hope I'll get you inspired so you'll be happy and successful for all of your life. Okay, so uh, this is what I've learned in uh, actually about my 40 years of being in the health and wellness uh, and spiritual uh, field. And, uh, and so most all of the spiritual and success gurus, they all talk about these qualities and they, they actually embody these qualities, you know. So, so it's just all about, these are all simple things that I know you can do this, I, I know you're going to enjoy this, and it's just all about taking action. You, once you get this down, if you, then you just take massive action, like Tony Robbins used to say, likes to say, massive action. And you're going to be, you're going to really be successful, and you're going to be able to follow through with your ageless living lifestyle wellness system. So, all right, we are ready to go. Okay, okay, good. So now, before we get, actually get into the seven C's, we're going to talk about happiness and success. So here's the best definition that I kind of put together from uh, other people's uh, things that I've read about happiness. And so it's the ability to be in and remain in an aware, peaceful, and joyful state despite external circumstances and knowing that you are an eternal spiritual being. So that's the key there, knowing that you're an eternal spiritual being. Uh, most all the uh, spiritual teachers that I am aware of and e even... Uh, in most conventional religions, you know, they say that we have an afterlife. We're not just a physical body. We're actually a spiritual being. So, so here's the thing. It's so important to understand that this is really is the key, that happiness is not something that you pursue, that you try and get, or something that external, in the external world is going to make you happy. If that's, if that's where your happiness comes from, if you're pursuing happiness, in the external world from other people or things or possessions, you're going to be, in fact, a good part of the time you're going to be unhappy, right? Because it's always up and down, up and down. You're going to be unhappy most of the time. So here's the key. Happiness is our innate nature because we are eternal spiritual beings. If you think about that, we get to be eternally part of this amazing universe, uh, spiritual However you want to think of God or, or, or how the, the, the universe is created and how it's animated and, and what our part of it is, I, I believe that we're all part of this and we get to be part of it forever. So we should always be joyful. That's what I always go back to. If I get a little down or a little frustrated, I, I just stop myself and realize, hey, this is just one little thing that we're experiencing right now to learn and grow our physical life. So, so it's so important to get this. You know, This is like the key to our life, you know, to stay peaceful and joyful and, and, and be just be happy because it's really just a choice. See, it's a choice 
that you can choose. You can either be, you can choose to be happy or you can choose to be unhappy. You know, so just choose to be happy. It's that simple. Now, so now our our relationship with other people, with our family, with our spouses, with our children, with our friends, with the external world, all the things that we're doing. Those are to enjoy. Those are things to enjoy. That brings us joy, you know, to have a great relationship, to be successful in our in our business, or be successful in what we love to do, play music, or whatever it is that we love to do, or to make a difference in the world, help other people. That brings us joy. So that's that's what the external world for, world is for, is to enjoy. But remember, in, no matter what happens in the external world, you can remain peaceful and happy because that's your choice. And then when, you, when you're able to do that, I think that's really what enlightenment's all about. No matter what's going on in your circumstances, if you can remain happy and peaceful, then you're able to deal with whatever is happening in this physical world. Uh, maybe a little easier said than done, but that's our goal, to remain happy. And, and So here's the thing. Now, if, you, if you're resisting this and say, well, yeah, it sounds good, but I, I, how can I be happy when all this stuff's going on? Well, you have to realize, first of all, that you're relating, again, to the wrong thing. You're thinking that happiness has to be something going on here in our physical world. It's not, okay? So that's the first thing. And the second thing is, isn't it better to believe, whether you believe this or not, okay, or whether you believe anything I've said right now, wouldn't it be better to, to choose just to be happy as opposed to saying, oh, no, I can't do that, blah, blah, blah. And then, and then you're going to be mostly unhappy? What's the better choice? Does that make sense? See, so if you're resisting this, that's just a limiting belief. We'll talk a little bit more about beliefs, but the other real important, uh, really, truth of, the, of, the whole, of, of our life and the universe is that our beliefs create our reality. I'm sure you understand that. I hope you understand that now. What we're believing, what we're thinking, what we're speaking, what we're feeling, that's what creates the actions that we take, and that creates what the results that we get in our in our life, you know. So, whatever you're believing, that's what you, you you create in your life. So, but the cool thing about beliefs is that you can believe anything you want. You can choose your belief. So, if you still if you still have a belief that you can't do that, you can't just be happy with all this other stuff going on. Well, that's just a limiting belief that you have that you can change. You can change that. So, I hope that makes I hope that makes uh, sense to you. So, that's it. You can either choose to be happy or not. So, I recommend you, we always try to choose to be happy and then just go out into the world, in this physical, uh, material world, and go for as much joy as you possibly can and enjoy as much as you possibly can. Okay, I hope you are convinced. Okay. Now we're going to talk about success. Now this is actually my most, this is really a fun one because, where is success? Can't find my notes. Okay, the thing about success is, think about this. If you've already chosen to be happy, and you're happy, how more successful can you be? <laughs> how more successful can you possibly be? If you're happy, you are totally successful. As we know, there's many people in the world who've achieved a lot of material success, uh, and a lot of fame and fortune, and they're not happy. You know, there's a lot of people who have been real successful, committed suicide, and there's, there's a lot of people who are not really totally happy. We actually know that in America, you know, we're the we have the most, you know, wealthy, successful people, and maybe the population in that regard physically, but we're one of the most unhappy countries. You know, they do these surveys. There's some organizations that do that sur surveys all around the world. And when they sur most of the surveys come out, America's like, I mean, we're like 20, way down like 20th or something. We're not even in the top 10 for being happy people. So something's wrong there. So we're looking at success all in the wrong way. So first of all, if you're happy, you choose to be happy, you're already successful. But we, we do live in, the, we do have this physical body. We do have this physical life. We are in this material world. So there's things that we can do which is these, these seven C's that we're going to talk about to bring us more physical success. And, and again, that's going to bring a lot more enjoyment in our life as well. 
So here's a really best definition that I found of success. There's many of those as well. It's the progressive realization of a worthy goal or ideal. So what this means, see, success is not something that you, that's in the future, again, just like that you strive for it. And, you, and finally, if you get this amount of money or you get this relationship or whatever it is, or you win this game or whatever, and then you're successful. No, real success is coming, if you have a worthy goal, an ideal, you're pursuing your passion, something that's valuable, and you're pursuing it, and you're doing it on a regular basis, that's living a successful life. That's being successful. Success is in the now, right now, in the present moment. It's not somewhere down the road. That's a really important uh, thing to, to remember. One thing I forgot in uh, talking about happiness, but it also applies here to success, there's a saying that happiness is like a butterfly. If you pursue it, it's very elusive. But if you just sit still, it may come and land on your shoulder. And, and that's what it is, you know, just allow it to happen. Allow yourself to be happy. Allow yourself to be successful on every day. Every day you, you can be successful. Okay, great. So I hope that makes a lot of sense to you as well. All right. I think we are ready to go to the seven C's. So the very first one and the most important one is clarity. Now this is this is what all of us really, this is what that we are all looking for. The number one thing that we're all searching for is clarity, right? We really want to know, you know, who am I? What am I? What am I doing here? What's, what's my life about? What should I be doing? And that's really the problem that most of us have and it's why we struggle and we have a hard time making decisions and, and, we're, and we're being just reactive instead of being proactive because we're not really clear on what our life path is and what we should be doing. So it's so important to take some time out, slow down and take some time to think about really what is your life about? You know, what, what, are, what are your core values? What's really important to you? You know, what is your life path? What, have you, what is your purpose? So I have this, uh, it's, a, it's called a 30 day clarity exercise. And how that goes, I'm actually, uh, this is actually uh, in a PDF that I, I send to people as well, so you can get that. But basically what it is, for 30 days, uh, you write uh, like in a loose leaf notebook, on the top third of the page, you write down what you really need right now in your life, and then what you want in your life, and then what is your life about. So those are the three things. What do you really need? And that means like, maybe you need to really get your teeth fixed, right? You need to really get something going on with your health, or maybe you need to get out of a bad relationship, or maybe you need to get a new job. You know, whatever is a cute situation, or whatever is really, really not causing you not to be where you need to be, that's what you need to address and and, and immediately take action on that. And then the second one, well, what do you really want? Now that's that's the more fun one. That's where you can dream big, think of anything. You say, I want to get a 200 foot yacht and sail around the world, or I want to go to the moon, or you know. I want to make a billion dollars. It could be anything, but it's, go small. Start with, I really want to become a great guitar player, and I really want to have an even greater relationship, and I want to have six kids. Or, you know, I don't know, anything, but just, just think about what you really want that would really make you uh, really joyful, that you could really enjoy, and don't have any limits. And then the third one is, what, what is your life about? What do you want your life to be about? It's kind of like, like a legacy or, or what do you really want to accomplish overall when you look back on your life? You know, how do you want to make a difference in the world? You know, like, like really, how did you really contribute? So that's, so you, you just think about five minutes. Don't, don't try and just do whatever comes in your mind and don't look what you did the, the, the previous day. And I guarantee you at the end of 30 days, you're going to have a lot of clarity in your life. You're really going to know really what you need, what your what your priority should be right now, and you're going to know really this is really what I want. You know, this is really what's important to me, and then you're going to have a probably a pretty good idea of what your purpose is and what what, what you really want to accomplish in your life. And what that helps to see when you're clear on this, when you really sit down and know what your core values are, what's really important to you, what you really want to accomplish, then you kind of and and your life purpose. Now again. There's so many things these days, you know, we have no 
there's no shortage of books or seminars or videos about all things that we need to learn, like life purpose, you know. So it, it, a life purpose usually is something that you're passionate about, something that you're good at, something that, that you can also sustain yourself, and it helps other people as well. So just take time to figure what that out is, and it can change throughout your life. But get real clear. And what that does, it makes it really reduces stress in your life, you know. Again, you know, as we know, stress is the biggest factor in all this unhealthiness that we have, all this disease in our body. So whenever a decision, you have to make a decision, if you're real clear on your path, then you know, okay, if I do this, it's just going to take me further down my path to accomplish what I really want to accomplish, or is it going to take me away from my path? So see, it makes your decisions a lot easier. But if, if you don't even know what you're really, where you're going, where you're headed, uh, then all these decisions, it's hard to make them. That may, I hope that really makes a lot of sense for you. So, again, uh, it's just it's just so important to get spend time to really get clear. Okay, so that's the first one, clarity. Now the second C I put up here is is courage, and why this is so important is because if you don't muster up the courage, if you don't have courage, you're not, if you're not courageous. You're not going to be able to really master the next five C's because it takes it takes energy, and it takes uh, well. You'll see what it takes. <laughs> We're going to go, on. but it, you know it's, it's it's not that it's difficult, but not, not yeah, but it's not easy either. I mean, it takes well, you'll see what it takes, but you have to go out and and really do it. You know, so it takes courage to do that. See, courage means to the ability to act on one's beliefs or desires in spite of difficulty or pain or danger or the unknown. And that's what life's all about. You know, life is can be dangerous. Life is unknown. Life can be painful. And, and life is, we have a lot of challenges in our life. So in order to meet those challenges and be highly successful, you have to have courage. You have to have courage. So, so the best way I, c I can think of it is, uh, is, is, to, is to think about if you don't have courage. Whenever you do meet a challenge and it seems really tough or it's really hard, uh, if, what happens if you don't have the courage to go and face it and, and work your way through it and, and become successful? How's your life going to be? Not very good, right? You're going to be really, um, really unhappy and not very successful. So think about if you don't do this, how's your life going to be? I think that's what I think about it. And as we know, all the people who have achieved a lot of success and and we, we look up to, they, they said they, it took a lot of courage. They had to step out there. And you know, the thing about fear is whenever you have fear, no matter what's going on in your life, when you just step up and face your fear and walk into it, it just mellows out. It goes away. It really does. So you just have to have the courage to step up and take action, and it'll just go away. And, and, and then you, you can just move forward and be successful. So I think that's the best advice I can tell you, uh, and of course, all the people who have done amazing things and great things and gone through big challenges, they all tell you it was tough, but they just met their fears and they got courage up and they moved through it and then it was the best experience of their life. So that's it. So you got to get over your fears and they'll go away and, you, and you'll be able to do anything that you want to accomplish in your life. All right. Now, the third C is commitment. Very important. You've got to commit now. See, now you're clear on what you want to do. You've got clarity and you've got the courage. I'm going to do this. But you've got to commit to it. You've got to commit to it. All the, again, all the successful people say it takes a lot of commitment to be highly successful in every aspect of your, of your life. So you've got to write down what you're trying to accomplish. You've got to write down your goals and and what you're trying to achieve and what your values are and what you're going to do. You've got to write it down so you're clear. And a really good thing to have here yeah, is to have those goals or what you're working on. Have it posted somewhere so you see it every day so it keeps in your mind. Because you've got to recommit every day. You've got to listen to, to inspiring things and, and make affirmations and, and put out your intention every day and recommit. And so it's all about... Just committing. You got to say, "I'm committed to do this," and when you're committed, then you know failure is not an option. You're not going to give up. You never give up. You know, uh, it was Einstein. You know, Einstein's one of my all-time favorite people in the world. I mean, he was much more than a 
you know, amazing phys scientist and physicist. All that. I mean, he was a really sharp uh, and spiritual guy. Some of the, the greatest sayings that we all know of were said by Einstein. And one of them was that persistence is genius. And he also said, uh, imagination is more important than uh, knowledge. So you just got to commit and be persistent and you will be successful. All right. Now, number four is competency. So you've gotten clarity. You've gotten the courage up. You're committed to make it happen. But now you've got to You've got to have the knowledge and the skills to make happen whatever it is that you want to make happen. You've got to learn, whether it's, whether it's learning about how to have a good relationship or whether it's learning how to do your business or do your sport or do whatever it is that you want to be successful at. You've got to get the, the, informa the knowledge to do it. You've got to become a competent. And these days, there's absolutely, absolutely no excuse for not getting the education that you need. I mean, we live in, the, as you know, in the world of Google. You can Google anything, and anything you want to learn, you can learn it online these days. There's just tons of seminars and coaches and, and workshops and books and everything. I mean, there's no lack of knowledge. You know, we pretty much have all the answers. So you just have to ask the right questions and get out there and take some action. Learn what you need to learn. Learn what you need to learn. Uh... Again, we, and we have so much technology these days, just like the technology for here for me doing this, this video, you know, I'm, I'm recording over my PowerPoint slides on a, on a, uh, on a program called uh, Camtasia, I learned how to do it. I mean, it's amazing what you can do these days, you know, so there's no excuse for not getting out there and doing a lot of great things. All right, so you gotta be competent. So, number five is then, once you're clear, you got the courage, you're committed, you got the comp you, you, you're competent. Now you're confident, right? You got all those things. You know what you're doing. You got your courage up. You're committed to make it happen. You know you got the the competency. You you got the knowledge. You got the confidence. That confidence takes again. It's so important to have confidence. Again, we can learn that again from all the highest successful people in in business or in athletics. If you don't have confidence in yourself. You're not gonna. You're not gonna make it. You're not gonna be successful. But see, once you've mastered those first four C's, that gives you the confidence. So you, when, once you're confident, and you go out there and you'll be really successful. And uh, and of course, you know that's what people respect. People respect people who are really confident. If you're not confident, people are not going to go along with what you say or what you do or what you want. They only follow and, and respect people that are highly confident and know what they're doing. So now you've got the confidence to go, okay? That's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, now this is the most fun one, six. Now that you've got all those other things, you've got your confidence, now you get to be creative. Again, if you're gonna be successful in these days, particularly in, in business or really in anything, in it, most any field, you gotta be creative because there's so much stuff out there, there's so many people, so much things going on. If you just kind of go along with what everybody else is doing, you're not going to stand out. You're not going to be uh, very highly successful. And you're not going to have much fun. Be creative. Use your creativity to, to just be your own unique, expressive self. Now, you know, the thing is, I've heard of some many people that say, oh, well, I'm not a creative person. See, we have this, this again, this limiting belief that, well, creativity means people that, that can compose music or paint paintings or write great books. Yeah, that, that is being creative, but everything in our life is being is creative. I mean, you are creating your life. Remember, we just talked about your beliefs and your thoughts and your words are creating your, your reality. Everything you do is creating your life. We're all creative. We all have ways to figure out how to do certain things. So everybody's creative in their own ways and different things. So just, again, believe in yourself. Believe that you can create something amazing you know whatever it is that you're working on you can create it just take the time to brainstorm and believe in yourself and you can create anything you can create that amazing healthy physical body that you want that we're working on and and then you can create amazing other things there's no limits so just be be creative and uh you know one way to be creative is to get some people to have like a mastermind group and where you support each other and 
help each other and everybody gives you other ideas and you just get together and be real creative and let everything flow and uh, amazing things will come out, you know. So again, just don't be fearful. You're creative. You can create anything you want. All right. And number seven, of course, is consistency. Again, remember I, I just mentioned that uh, Einstein said persistence is genius, you know. You've got to persist no matter what. It's going to be, there's going to be tough times. There's going to be up and downs, you know. But when you persist, when you're consistent, you're going to get good results. You're going to get, you're going to be successful. You know, you can't get fit in one exercise session, right? You've got to be consistent. That's all it does. Again, I, I always tell my, my training clients that everything that we're, I'm teaching you, we know works. You just have to do it on a consistent basis. It's so simple. It's not nothing to, to be wondering, is this going to work or what am I doing? Just get your program, whatever you're doing. Once you've mastered all these other six C's, all you got to do is work it. Just be consistent. Stick with it. Don't never give up. That's it. Just make it a, a lifelong habit that you're going to be always successful. And you're going to be consistent. All right. Well, I got ahead of myself here. Okay, but anyway, before that, there's actually one more C, and that is, <clears throat> well, let's do this. I'm sorry. Let's go here first. Okay, so the reason I put this up, I actually got the wrong slide here. I wanted to say get inspired. So I, I want you to get inspired, because inspired is, is really an amazing word. Inspired means to be in spirit. And, and again, now spirit, spirit or spiritual just means to, for me, it means, and I think a lot of people, again, that I've studied with, it means to realize that we're all spiritual beings, we're all one, we're all brothers and sisters, you know, that, and we're all one. If we could ever, everybody could ever get that way, everybody could become spiritual, there would be no more wars and poverty and all these problems that we have in the world because we all realize that we're all brothers and sisters and we all cooperate and help each other. But spiritual means that we're part of the whole universe, we're part of God, we're spiritual. And so... But the word inspired means to be in spirit, and spirit is another word for source or God. So when you're inspired and you're connected to spirit, you're connected to source or God, so you can accomplish anything. See, when, you're, when you get inspired about your life, then you're connected to your higher source, and, and then you can be successful as you need to be. All the most successful people, well, I think most of them anyway, will always say when they're interviewed, well, I got this inspiration. They say, how did you get this? How did you start this? How did you accomplish this? They say, well, I, was, I just got an inspiration. I got inspired to do this. And whether they knew that, that they were connected to Source or God or their higher self or not, they were. And that's why they were so successful. So get inspired about your life. And then you, you can, the sky's the limit. You can achieve anything. So that's what this slide's all about. Now, Okay, this is our last slide, but there's one more thing that I want to tell you, and that is there's actually eight C's, but it sounds a lot better, doesn't it? Seven C's, like the seven C's of the world. Eight C's, I mean, you talk about the eight C's, it just doesn't have the right ring, the seven C's. So the eighth one is actually C stands for coaching. Now coaching is known to be the surest and fastest way to achieve our goals. And coaching has been, a, you know, it's really a big, it's one of the fastest growing industries these days, you know. I've been a trainer and a coach and also a, in health and fitness and wellness and also in life coaching. And so you can find a coach for anything these days. And of course, think about this, how important coaching is. Uh, think about all athletic teams. They don't just go out there and do whatever they want and play without having a coach. A coach, they have a coach to coach them, you know, so they can be a lot more successful. They, well, they can learn how to do it and get organized and do things in their best way to, so they can be as successful as possible. And so coaching is so important. If you can, get yourself a coach to whatever for whatever you need. You know, we, we, we don't call them coaches, but you get a financial advisor. You know, you get a, a, an attorney for legal stuff. Maybe you get something for a spiritual. But these days, you get a fitness coach. or you get Any kind of a coach can re really be helpful for you. And just one more aspect on that is, just to show you an example of successful people, Kobe Bryant, as you know, one of the world's all-time best uh, basketball players. He, he just retired last year. And this guy was so driven to be the best player ever and to be highly successful. I mean, they already had a bunch of coaches with the Lakers, right? Their own 
going on their team. But he hired his own individual coaches as well to go out and scout the players on the other team that he knew he was going to be playing against, that he was going to be guarding, and also to scout the, the players that were going to be guarding him so he could see their tendencies, so he, could, he, he knew how he, could, how he could overcome them and take advantage of them. So, and that's why he got to be so the greatest player because he got, he got a lot of coaching. So the reason I bring that up is also because I do offer you a free coaching session, not a consultation, it's a coaching session where we'll get on the phone and we'll go over what's going on with you right now, what you need to help with. And so I'll help, really help, help to get you on the right track and, 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 and we'll just discuss all the different things that you're dealing with in your, for your wellness program or in your life as well. So I'm happy to do that. So you can contact me at uh, in my website, Ageless Living Lifestyle, uh, or send me an email. It's Rico C at Ageless Living Lifestyle. So I'll be happy to give you a free coaching session. So that is it. That is the seven C's for happiness and success. So just to sum it up, you have to you can choose to be happy right now today. No matter what happened, no, no, no matter what's going on in your, in your past life, you can just let it go, forget it. The only thing that matters is this very moment. And in this very moment, you have the, the ability and the capacity to choose happiness. You can be happy, okay? And then when you're happy, you're, you're committed to be happy, you're already successful. That's the most thing we want to be is be happy. And then when you learn to master these seven C's, I guarantee you, you're going to be highly successful in every aspect of your life. In particular, I want you to be successful in your ageless living lifestyle wellness system that you're training for. All right, so I think that is it. So again, on the screen you see, be bold, never be old. That sums it all up. That's what we're all about. We want to never be old. All right, thanks so much for watching. Okay. on the dock. And hit pause.